President Biden said today that he made it clear to Moscow that the United States and its allies had nothing to do with the uprising in Russia over the weekend. The Wagner Group's mercenary troops, for a short period of time, marched toward Russia's capital before the Kremlin cut a deal with the mercenary group's leader on Saturday. The president described the situation as an internal Russian matter. We gave Putin no excuse to blame this on the West or to blame this on NATO. We made clear that we were not involved. We had nothing to do with it. This was part of a struggle within the Russian system. CBS News senior White House and political correspondent Ed O'Keefe joins us now from the North Lawn. Ed, we saw in the open your question to John Kirby about what the administration wants to call it. It doesn't have a name. Does it know what actually happened and what may happen next? Seems that the administration and just about everybody else outside Russia is still trying to exactly decipher what transpired and wait, what may be coming next. A notable that they won't say, for example, where is the head of the Wagner Group. Uh, they, they claim that there has been no change in military leadership um, and that otherwise they're just monitoring this situation. But the president and other officials, including John Kirby, the spokesman, uh, went to great lengths today to point out that the United States had nothing to do with this. And when asked, why are you even saying that? They suggest that there had been social media chatter generated in Russia, uh, even among senior Russian officials who were sort of beginning to imply that maybe Ukraine or the United States or NATO had something to do with it. And so the president today felt compelled to come out and say that is not the case. This is something between you and the mercenaries that are serving alongside you there on the front lines in Ukraine. And of course, as you well know, Ed, whatever Russia has found itself in a fix in this invasion of Ukraine, and it's been many times, it is frequently to divert attention from that fix, whatever its underlying reasons, blamed the West. So maybe the Biden administration is trying to anticipate that before it comes out at full force. Yeah, and, and look, uh, the White House pointed out that throughout the weekend and again today, the president would be on the phone with NATO allies, uh, with, with other major Western European countries uh, to make sure that they were all in essence singing from the same song sheet because they didn't want any uh, any deviation from the, the, the general line to be exploited by Russia in any way, that, that there was some kind of fissure or disagreement about this. Uh, and so it was notable that the president upended the weekend by making sure that he, the Canadians, the British, the French, the Italians, the Germans were all in cohesion in how to respond, emphasizing their support for Ukraine, saying that they're mostly focused on the situation in Ukraine while Putin has to deal with this internal matter, as, as he described it today. And do us a favor. You had another engagement with John Kirby at the podium about what the conversations were between the U.S. and Russia and the relative level of anxiety, to the degree there is any, with this Russian nuclear power and the instability we saw. Walk us through that. Yeah, well, you know, given that we know that there had been U.S.-Russia engagement through the weekend with the United States emphasizing to some counterparts that they had nothing to do with this as well. We tried to get a sense of, well, how was that reaction? Did they get back to you quickly? Because remember, during the Cold War and in the years since, uh, there's, in essence, been an open line of communication. It's only until recently, once the Ukrainian conflict began especially, that that communication's broken down. And it had always been maintained through the years because the two are the biggest nuclear powers. So we asked uh, Admiral Kirby today, uh, how, how is that interaction how was it through the weekend? Here's part of what he had to say. Is the U.S. confident the Russians would be responsive in the event of a nuclear or other real crisis, given how they were this weekend? I would just tell you, Ed, uh, and this has been the case for the last 16 months, I mean, Russia is a nuclear power, that we have been uh, uh, monitoring as best we can Russian strategic posture, their nuclear capabilities. That continues. And we've seen no indication. Outside of the blustery rhetoric, we've seen no indication uh, that there's any intent to use nuclear weapons inside Ukraine. He went on to say that uh, there had been responses from the Russians pretty quickly and some frank exchanges, which is mostly what we were trying to decipher, is, is whether or not they had been responsive. His, his answer was that they were. Ed O'Keefe at the White House, thanks so very much.